Welcome in this demonstration of modeling developable hull shapes in Rhino. As developable hull shapes are relatively cheap to manufacture, they are often used for workboats, yachts, but also larger equipment like dredgers. In this example, which you can download at the blog article where this video is embedded, you can see that I already created some frames in white and longitudinal curves in black. Important when you model hulls in Rhino is to analyze the amount of control points and try to model with the least amount of control points necessary to create the desired shape of the hull. In this case you can see that there are only few control points needed to create fair curves. In this article in the tutorial video I will show more in detail the differences between modeling with the sweep to rail command with the loft command and the lab tool called developable surface where you have more control in the way the surface is modeled and what is also important can be expanded later for manufacturing purposes and that's the reason that you also can find the 2D expansion of every technique which you can find in this file. So in red you see now the expansion of the sweep to rail technique and you can also find in orange the loft expansion. If I zoom in you can witness that there are small differences when surfaces based on different techniques are expanded in a flat plate. So thank you for watching this demo and in the tutorial I will explain more. Thank you for watching.